Greetings, human beings of the internet. My name is Joan. Thank you for joining me today for another Asky Asky Talky Talky. I am sorry that this took so long. I really am. Uh, as I said in my last vlog, I've had less time recently to make videos because of work. And the time that I have had to make videos, I've been prioritizing gaming stuff. Because there's just been some games I've really wanted to play and some videos that I really wanted to get out. So Asky Asky has kind of just slowly fallen down the list of priorities. And I apologize for taking so long because I like this series. I like the interactivity it gives me with you guys. But I'm going to do my best to make this a more regular thing from now on. So let's get into it. So starting with Mikil Ding Ding. He says, also for Asky Asky, what's your favorite color? I assume it's red. I don't know why you would say that. I don't have a favorite color. I really, really don't. I said in one of the previous Asky Askies when someone asked me like my favorite pie or cake or something, that I don't like having favorite things. And the same goes for color. I can't really think of a specific color I like the most. I like dark colors. I wear a lot of dark colors and you probably see from my videos. Black, brown, even purple sometimes. Just kind of dark stuff. I don't know why. <laughs> I just prefer dark shades of colors. Mikhail also asks, what are your biggest fears? Um, I don't really have any traditional fears or phobias like heights. I always had a weird thing about getting crushed. This is going to sound weird, but I remember I was watching Aliens vs Predator 2, 1. I don't remember which one it was. And there was a scene where he was like crawling through this really small crevice and it was shutting. And he only just makes it out. And I just couldn't help but thinking... What would it be like to be kind of crushed between like two giant slabs of concrete? It would be fucking dreadful. And I mean, there's a lot of things in life that I think would be sucky. Like burning and drowning and being punched by a bear. <laughs> but like being crushed slowly is like the only thing that stood out to me as being like the worst thing in the world. And apart from that, if I was to think of anything less extreme, uh, I think my main fear about my life is that I will fail to make it interesting slash extraordinary i will end up like everyone else i will work nine to five at a job i don't like and then i will die having not really affected the world positively that's definitely one of my biggest fears and something that i am doing my best to make sure never happens why won't you help me rub my nipples i thought we were friends well you see sean i believe in your capability to rub your nipples on your own you can do it man I believe in you. You've got this. Nintega says, I know you are not that into Nintendo installments, but will you stream any of the Paper Mario games or Super Mario RPG? Um, yes. I definitely know about those games. And one of the main reasons uh, I created my stream is to catch up on games that I missed in the past. And a large chunk of those games are Nintendo games because I kind of just skipped a few generations of their consoles. So basically, if people say that there's a good Nintendo game, I'll probably go back and play them. I do want to play the Paper Mario games. I don't know much about Super Mario RPG, but I'll give it a go. Firo says, if you could live in any game's world, which one would you choose? Oh god, I haven't prepared for this. Uh, I'm going to go for one of the Bioshocks, but before any apocalyptic events happen. I don't know if I would choose Rapture or Columbia. I'm probably going to go with Columbia. But without like the horrible war and people shooting each other. Are you going to do any multiplayer games with other YouTubers? Yes. Yes, of course. I have done some in the past. I played some Gary's Mod and other games with some of my friends. But I haven't done any collabs for a while. We've recently been talking about doing some games that I won't mention. But there will be collabs in the future. I promise. Who are your favourite YouTubers? Uh, this is quite a difficult one. I watch a lot of YouTube. Um, I watch quite a lot of daily vlogs. I watch Fun for Louie, Casey Neistat, uh, like religiously every day without fail. I watch a lot of Game Grumps and I used to watch a lot of Mark, Felix and Jack. But because of time and time constraints, I don't have as much time to watch their content. So I kind of just check in every few days and I see what I think is interesting and I make sure to give those a watch. And apart from that, I just kind of like to dabble in almost everything from blogging to even food stuff. I just kind of like to have a broad picture of what's going on on YouTube. So I kind of like to watch a little bit of everything. But those channels that I mentioned at the beginning are the ones that I watch most frequently. Is there a name for your fans? Like the Vlog Brothers has Nerd Fighters, PewDiePie has the Bro Army, Wheezy Waiter has Beard Lovers, etc. Um, I do not. And I was even tempted in the past to attempt 
to manufacture a name for you guys. I remember thinking, like, should I attempt to do this? Should I call them the Defenders or the Joeys, like little kangaroos? But in the end, I just decided to not do it. I think if you don't let things happen naturally, then you're just going to end up feeling like a produced TV show. I'm just a guy playing video games, and you are just a bunch of cool people watching me. You're individual people, and... I'm not going to give you a name. Maybe one day something will organically happen and you guys will have a name. But I'm not going to make an effort to give you guys a name if it happens organically. Awesome. If it doesn't, then you're just the people that I love. Ugh, cheesy. Have you gotten any haters? Yep. Making videos seems like a huge time investment. Why do you do it? Um, whew. how do I answer this? Uh, one... It's fun. It's really, really fun. It makes me feel productive. I can take my hobby, which is playing video games, and I can turn it into something a bit more positive than me just sitting on my butt enjoying content all day. I can create content for other people to enjoy. I like YouTube. I've always enjoyed watching YouTube. I've always enjoyed creating content for YouTube. And now I've just kind of moved over to this medium. And also just for future potential. I would love nothing more than YouTube to be my full-time job. It would be a fucking dream to be honest with you, because uh, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> this is the only thing I really like and the only thing that I want to do. So hopefully if I keep going, maybe I'll make enough money to do this forever and then I'll be the happiest man there ever was. Can you speak a sentence in three to five languages? No. Nine. Ni. Na. Non. Why did the girl punch you in the face on your birthday? I don't remember. I was intoxicated. Probably being annoying. Jerry says, Joe, if you had a chance to get one working thing, gun, or something else from any game, what would you choose? Well, I think the obvious choice would have to be the portal gun, because you could get around quickly, I could, like, put a portal on the wall, and then one by the fridge, and then I could just reach in and get whatever I want, and I could just boil a kettle, it would be amazing. But I'm sure there is a better answer. There's a lot of video games out there, and a lot of cool things in video games. I'm just going to take the easy way out and say the portal gun. Sorry if that's boring. The game in Urchin says, Can you walk around with a black morph suit in the ghetto of England? <laughs> the ghetto of England. With a Nerf gun? No. Nine. Nay. Jerry also says, Do you have an ear for music? Maybe you can play musical instruments or sing. Um, I currently do not play any musical instruments or sing. I used to play the drums in the past. I really enjoyed playing the drums but just kind of stopped as time went on and I couldn't afford the lessons, etc. Uh, I'm not sure what the question, do you have an ear for music, means. Uh, I really like music. I spend a lot of time listening to music and I invest a lot of time in searching out good bands. I think nowadays the worst music gets pushed up the charts and people, the majority of people are exposed to some of the worst music in the world. And if you want to find good music, you've got to put the effort in to find it. And... There's always one thing that's annoyed me. It's when like, the older generation say, Music is terrible today. And it's just because they're not looking for the good music, which is understandable. Because back in the old days, sounds very old, the best music was at the top of the charts. But now it's the other way around. The best music is hidden. And the worst music is at the top of the charts. But I love music. I spend a lot of my money and my free time on going to music festivals and gigs, etc. I've got two lined up for the summer. So... I'm not sure what that question means, but I, I like music a lot. Jasmine Ramsey says, when is the next Arsky Arsky going to happen? <sighs> Probably never. Millie Ritchie says, would you ever play Town of Salem? I don't really know. I don't know what that game is, but I am open to play anything. And maybe I will give it a look. Maybe you guys want to play it. I know on my live stream, uh, some of the people watching said it would be good to play with a lot of people, a lot of viewers and stuff like that. But I'd had to give it a look first because I don't, I don't know what it is. Out of your YouTuber friends who you called the Gmod team, which of them do you think has their kind of thing about them? Like, who's the funniest? Who's the derpiest? Who's the kindest? Etc. Stuff like that. In your own opinion, and when will you do more Gmod videos? I'd like to play Gmod soon, actually. As I said a few questions back, I haven't done any collaborations with anyone for a while, and I miss it. I miss playing Gmod as well. Uh, we actually did name everyone in the group and i cannot remember what they were i know nick was the asian i'm gonna call dave the unfortunate sean the derp and scott can be the hair flick oh god jesus christ here we go and from clochette 
here's a paragraph. <laughs> okay, where do we start? Can I see the socks you are wearing? They're always amazing. I don't have a foot fetish, I swear. I think I just made the question awkward. Sorry, still want to see them. You can press backspace on the keyboard and it, it will remove the text and then you don't have to say awkward things. But here are my socks. They're green. What is the first thing you notice in the opposite sex? Depends where I'm looking. If I happen to be looking at their butt, their butt. But probably mostly their face. Do you remember you have to take your shirt off when you reach 5 million subscribers? Actually, I said 5 billion subscribers. I've said this like 20 times. When I reach 5 billion subscribers, I'll get naked. Do you have a middle name? Nope. What is the wallpaper of your cell phone? Uh, where the hell is it? The wallpaper of my cell phone is the default one. Because I don't care. Also, my screen's really broken. I dropped it. I have a shrine of you in my bedroom. There's lots of pics. Let's just skip to the next question. What's your worst pet peeve? I think my worst pet peeve in people. That's what pet peeve means, isn't it? It's like the most annoying thing about people. I hope so. If not, I'm answering the question completely wrong. But the thing that annoys me most about human beings is negativity and arrogance. I cannot fucking deal with people who think you're the best. At a movie theater, which armrest is yours? I think this is quite obvious. So say this is the aisle, an aisle of seats. Uh, this is the middle, obviously. If you're on this side, on the right-hand side, it is the right armrest. Because the person on the end of the aisle is going to have their arm on the right armrest. And then the person on their left will have it on the right. And then the person in the middle gets both because he's a selfish bastard. And everyone on the left of the middle has the left one. There you go. Easy. Did you have any stuffed animals as a kid? If yes, how were they? Yes, I had loads of stuffed animals. I've always liked animals. So as I was a kid, I liked toys of animals. I actually have a few left in my room that you may have even seen when I did my last vlog and I went around my room. I will go get them. Okay, so this is a bear. I don't know if he has a name, but I got this when I was born. 1991. It's backwards for me. Hopefully it's not backwards for you. But it says 1991 on his foot. That was the year I was born. So I got this, or I should say my mum got this uh, the day I was born. He's a cool teddy bear. I think he actually has some yellow paint somewhere on his face. I can't quite see it. Maybe I cleaned it up. But I painted his face when I was a kid. Because I was a bad kid. And I have this monkey. I don't know where this monkey's from. To be honest with you. I just know I've had him forever. And then this is Mr. Ducky. Uh, I wasn't very creative with my names, apparently, when I was a kid. Because he's a duck. But I like him, though. He's got a floppy head and it makes me laugh. Ha <laughs> ha! I have a bunch more in storage as well, just locked away in the cupboard behind this room. And my dad tried to throw all of them out once without telling me. And I was... <sighs> Man, I nearly kicked off. I saved them. I saved them. All my animals are back and they're mine. If any one of your subscribers could be your slave for a day, who would it be and what would they have to do? No one and nothing. <laughs> Go about your business, people. Be free. What songs always make you happy when you hear them? Uh, lots of songs. As I said earlier, I listen to a lot of music. Like a lot of music. So I can't really pick out like one song, I could probably make a playlist of like 200 to 100 songs that make me happy. Yeah, pretty much anything by bands I like. I just like music. Music makes me happy. What does your handwriting look like? Shit. It's pretty bad. It's not terrible, but it's pretty bad. I've always been a guy who prefers the computer, if you can't tell. So using a pen was never my preferred way of writing. But I think that's it. I think I have finally done it. Episode 3 of Ask Ye Ask Ye only took me like a month or so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll do better. This time I'll do better. So please leave more questions in the comments below. Anything you have to ask me as long as it's not too personal or gross. Put it in the comments below and I will do my best to answer it for episode 4. Which I will get out sooner. This time. I will. Hopefully. But I like this series. It feels very interactive with you guys. You get to know some weird stuff about me. I get to read your questions. But that is all for now. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time! I believe I am on the same playing field as anyone who just started their YouTube channel. I do have my own little small community, which I'm really appreciative of. The amazing, passionate community as well. But I don't really feel like I've gone far enough to YouTube channel to justify to answer questions.